What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel and welcome back to our video. Today, I'm doing race fix for 2023 Forever 400. Let's go ahead and just jump straight into it. This week in the NASCAR Cup Series has a home set Miami Speedway, the 1.5 mile racetrack located outside of Miami, Florida. The last time we raced here at home set Miami, we saw Kyle Larson put up a dominant clinic and lead 199 of 267 laps and pick up his third victory of 2022. He looks to pick up his fifth victory and go back to back this week weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. This also is the second race of the round of eight. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Before we go ahead and jump into picks, let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. So the weather for this weekend is looking really promising. It's going to be 86 degrees high with 62 degrees low for now, only a 10% chance of rain with partly cloudy skies. It's going to be some nice and really, really good weather. It's going to be a little warm if you're a Homestead, but the weather does look pretty good for this weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the playoff standings after the first race of round of eight, going into the second race of the round of eight. So Kyle Larson's locked into the championship four after winning this past weekend's race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. William Byron's only nine points above, and Mark Trickster and Denny Hill are both tied for third of the points, being two points above. Chris Abel's two points below, Todd Reddick is 16 below, Ryan Blaney 17 below, and Chris Buescher is 23 points below. Going to be a really, really tight battle, going to be really, really tight, and I think it's going to be a great run to the championship as we get closer, as we start the round of eight, and actually get into the second race of the round of eight. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. For those who are new to the channel, here's our picks work on the channel. I do two suck picks, two drivers. I expect a struggle throughout the weekend or have had a bad streak of races recently who I think are going to continue their struggles. I do my underdog picks, two drivers. I expect I'm really, really good and under fun or or need a good run this weekend. And I do my winner's pick, the driver thinks can win the race overall. And then I do the drivers you need to watch out for. And for the Cup Series, I usually do five drivers you need to watch out for. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into picks. Who are my suck picks for the forever 400? My first suck pick for this weekend at home said Miami Speedway is the driver's seven car for Spire Motorsports, Corey LaJoy. Corey LaJoy started you off on a really, really high note and at one time was competing for a playoff spot. However, in the second half of this year, I feel like Corey LaJoy has faded into like the back of the pack and he has not had the same runs that he had at the beginning of the year. And Spire Motorsports has fallen off the cliff just a little bit. But there's been times this year where even Ty Dillon, who's been not great this year, has outperformed Corey LaJoy. I don't think Corey LaJoy has a good run. I think he's going to struggle, and I think he's going to be finishing near the middle to the back of the pack this weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. My second suck pick for this weekend at Homestead is the driver of the three car for Rich Schultz Racing, Austin Dillon. This year for Austin Dillon has been a very big disaster. He's only scored, I think, three or four top tens all together in 2023. And it's not, I don't think he's even scored even a top five so far in the 2023 season. He's been getting outclassed by his teammate Kyle Busch all year long. And unfortunately, I don't think Austin Dillon is going to have a good run. I expect him to struggle this weekend. I don't expect that pace and speed. I don't think he has a good run this weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the underdog picks for the Forever 400. Who are my underdog picks? My first underdog pick is a former winner here who won this race in 2014 to win the NASCAR Cup Series Championship. And the driver is getting honored with the name Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick, I think, has a really solid shot to maybe contend for a top five or top ten this weekend. The reason I have his underdog pick is because, unfortunately, he's been eliminated from the playoffs, but also because of the fact that I feel like Suras Racing Equipment has not been good for a while. And unfortunately, I don't think it's going to help Harvick out. That being said, Kevin Harvick historically has been pretty good at the, at the strike throughout his NASCAR Cup Series career. I think Kevin Harvick has overall a pretty solid and a pretty strong run. This weekend at home set Miami Speedway, I think he has a good run at home set. And my second underdog pick for this weekend at home set is a driver's six car for RFK Racing, Brad Keselowski. If I remember correctly, Brad Keselowski had one of the best cars in the field in this race last year, and it was up front in the top five and top ten a majority of the day. And coming off of having a really strong run on the most recent mile half of Las Vegas, having one of the three or four best cars in the field, I expect Brad Keselowski to have an outside chance to win this weekend. I don't think he's going to have the fastest car in the field, but I think that you're going to see Brad Keselowski bring some great pace, some great speed, and I think Brad Keselowski has a really great opportunity and a fantastic shot to get it done. I think he'll for sure will be a threat this weekend for the win at Homestead Miami Speedway. And now we're going ahead and jump on the winner's pick for the Cup Series race at Homestead Miami Speedway. Who am I picking to win? 
This pick is a no-brainer for me. This guy is the defending winner of this race and has a lot of momentum after winning at Las Vegas Motor Speedway this past weekend. I am picking the driver of the five for Hendrick Motorsports, Kyle Larson, to pick up his fifth win of 2023 and continue a hot streak of momentum. Kyle Larson historically has been very good here. He got his first ever win at home set in, in, in the Cup Series last year. But you go back to other races. 2021, I believe finished in the top five in that race. 2019, had solid pace and speed. 2018 was up front in that one. 2017, he won a stage, but not mistaken, and had a chance to win the race. 2016, was leading for the final restart with 10 laps to go. Was on the front row with Jimmy Johnson with two to go. And then 2015, had the dominant car in that race. I think Kyle Larson is going to go back-to-back. This track fits the style with that dirt background. I think Kyle Larson will be your victor and will go back-to-back and get win number five of 2023. And now we're going to go ahead and jump on the drivers you need to watch out for for this weekend at Homestead. Who should you watch out for? The first driver you should watch out for for this weekend at Homestead is the driver of the 45 car for 2311 Racing, Tyler Reddick. Tyler Reddick has historically been really good at this track in his NASCAR career. He has won two Xfinity Series races here in 2018 and 2019, the two races that won in the championship, and also was really fast in the Cup race in 2021 and also in 2022. I expect with the speed that he's shown at home set historically, I think that he is going to have a very good run along bubble walls as well. I think Reddick will have a good chance and opportunity to contend for the victory this weekend and maybe make his way in the championship four. The second driver to watch out for for this weekend at Homestead is the driver of the A car for Rich Schultz Racing, Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch has won two NASCAR Cup Series races here, and I believe also an Xfinity Series race as well, that being 2009 and also 2015 and 2019 in the Cup Series. Kyle Busch has been pretty good at this track, and I expect Kyle Busch to bring the same pace and speed that he had this past weekend at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, where he finished in third. RCR has been pretty good here before, so I think that you'll see Kyle Busch have overall a pretty good and a pretty strong run this weekend at Homestead at Miami Speedway. The third driver to watch out for for this weekend at Homestead is the driver of the 24 car for Hendrick Motorsports, William Byron. William Byron won the spring race or the race in 2021 and also won the pole for this race, I believe, in 2022. And we had a really good pace in the 2022 race. William Byron's had a lot of great pace and speed overall in the 2023 season. I think that speed is going to transition him, having a great chance and opportunity to get it done. I think it will be a threat to potentially pick up his seventh victory of 2023. The fourth driver we should watch out for for this weekend at home semi-Miami Speedway is the driver 11 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin has won this track three times, 2009, 2013, and 2020. Denny Hamlin and his Levity involves been really strong on the intermediate tracks throughout the 2023 season, and I expect that Denny Hamlin will be a threat to win with how much experience he has at this racetrack and how good of a driver he is at home at Miami Speedway. I think he's got a really great chance and a really great opportunity to potentially pick up his fourth win of 2023 and, of course, lock his way into the championship four. And the fifth and final driver I think you should watch out for for this week in a home set is the driver of the 19 car for Joe Gibbs Racing, Martin Truex Jr. Now, Martin Truex Jr. has completely struggled in the playoffs. In fact, he got his first top 10 of the playoffs this past weekend in Las Vegas Motor Speedway. But last year, Martin Truex Jr. was one of the only drivers who really could contend with Kyle Larson and was leading near the end of the race. And Martin Truex Jr. historically has been pretty good at home at Miami Speedway. He won in 2017. He finished second in 2018. He finished second in 2019. I think he had a car that could have won in 2021. In 2022, he had some pretty good speed as well. I think that Martin Truex Jr. will be, have a really good chance and opportunity to get it done. I think he will be a threat for the win this weekend at Homestead. So, those are our race picks for the forever 400. Just a reminder, my suck picks are Corey LaJoy, Austin Dillon. My underdog picks are Kevin Hart, Brad Kozlowski. My winner's pick is Kyle Larson. And the ones to watch out for are Tyler Reddick, Kyle Busch, William Byron, Denny Hamlin, and Marcek Sr. Those are my race picks. So, that is going to be over the race picks video for the 2023 forever 400. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, throw notifications on, so if I win a video, does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link in the description below that, and comment below your thoughts below on today's video and your picks below for this week in a home set. Let me know your suck picks, let me know your underdog picks, let me know your winner's pick, and let me know your drivers you're watching out for for this week in a home set. 
Let me know your picks in the comments below. Tomorrow on the channel, there will either be an Ask or News video on the channel or a Silly Season Predictions. If there's not enough news to cover tomorrow, then that prediction video could come out. But there also could be a second video with a news video. We're just going to have to wait and see. And then on Saturday and Sunday, we'll have race reviews for Cup, Xfinity Series, and Truck Series for Homestead Miami Speedway. Got a lot of great content dropping on the channel that I can't wait for you guys to check out. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, buddy.